Barely a week after Typhoon Bofa destroyed their homes, the people of Moncayo in the southern Philippines are starting to rebuild. 59-year-old widow Lucena Barcelona fled from her home with the two grandchildren she's raising, just as the floods rose. After a difficult night spent at an evacuation center, she and her grandchildren went back. When the waters receded, we came back here to clean up, to build somewhere to stay, close to where our houses are. It's what many in Moncayo are doing, returning to where their houses once stood, the town's only evacuation site failing to serve its purpose. This gym was packed full of people when Typhoon Bofa struck last Tuesday. They came here seeking shelter, but the winds were so strong that it actually ripped the roof right off. And survivors say they had to spend the night cold, wet and hungry and holding on to each other, afraid for their lives. But survivor Heber Aberilla says there is no time for fear now. The unemployed carpenter wades through what used to be a cornfield to look for coconuts brought down by the typhoon. He can dry this out and sell it as copra. Despite the need, no one can really pay for his carpentry skills now. I think we should be able to recover by February or March. The problem is, that's also the season when the river here usually overflows. But they're not letting anything get in the way of their recovery. Not even, they say, the lack of aid or support. If someone should help me, then thank you very, very much. But if not, then I won't force them. I also know we're not the worst off here. So many others have died. Counting themselves fortunate to have survived, people here say they'll learn to adapt and will put their lives back together again, however long that takes. Margot Tigas, Al Jazeera, Moncayo, Compostela Valley, Southern Philippines.